Hi, this is Greg Degarian with TempWorks Software here to share with you some details about payroll processing in TempWorks Enterprise. I'm going to take you through the basic case of an employee bringing in a time card and paying that time card and giving the employee a check. There are actually a lot of ways to get time in the system like time clocks and web time entry. But basically to get there we click on the payroll icon from TempWorks Enterprise and from there click on the timesheet icon. This brings me to a screen where I can enter any number of employees' time. I can limit the view to that employee or, for example, to any employee who hasn't been paid yet. But basically, I select the item for the employee and I enter their number of hours. I can also do, do detail items. For example, I can specify the number of hours worked per day. I can enter adjustments, say, for mileage or any other sort of uh, adjustment that the employee might have. I can specify overrides for the pay code or for a specific amount of uh, uh, income tax adjustment that they want. So all those things can be done directly from this same screen by clicking on the Details tab. I can also navigate from the timesheet to the employee or the job order in order to verify details. Once I'm done with that, though, I can proof the transaction, which basically allows me to check and make sure that any business rules that I've set up aren't violated. For example, I might have a limit on the amount of overtime that someone might be able to enter, or whether that employee is entitled to overtime in case it was incorrectly specified. So in this case, I happen to uh, have no errors in my transaction, and that makes me eligible to pay the person. I do that by creating a payroll run. And from payroll run, I simply f click on the next uh, buttons there. I select the transactions I want. There could be thousands of time cards awaiting processing. I just want the ones from the Memphis SC branch. So I click on that. And that makes me uh, eligible now to run the payroll, which basically calculates the taxes or any garnishments that the employee is subject to. That seems to have run fine. And so now I'm able to go to the next step, which in this case is to print the paycheck. It could just as easily be uh, creating an ACH time, uh, ACH feed to the bank. But in any case, the idea here is to print a check and give it to the employee in the shortest amount of time. So I simply follow the uh, print process, print OK, it sends the check to the printer, and everything's just fine. So anyway, this has been a quick demonstration of our payroll process. I'd especially like to thank our payroll developers who have uh, done a nice job on this user interface. I'd like to welcome you, if you like what you're seeing, to give us a call for a 30-day free trial calling TempWorks at 651-452-0366. This has been Greg Degarian with TempWorks Software. Thank you very much.